This is the Ananda Nano from Hyphaman, a fairly new planar magnetic headphone. It's supposed to sound even better than its predecessor, the Ananda Stealth, as it's a newer version that has been upgraded with the nanometer thickness diaphragm. Please like the video. It feels decent in hand, similar to other Hyphaman headphones, yet a bit less floppy as there is no cap swivel. It has a new silver look but the material of that silver part is still the same. It's plastic. Not very cheap feeling plastic though. The ear caps as well as the pads are very big. Some of the largest I have seen on any headphone. They can fit almost all ear sizes comfortably with lots of free room. That's something I really appreciate. In addition to that, they are a three material hybrid for optimal tuning and breathability. They don't get sweaty or hot in there so they do the job very well. The headband looks the same as on the Ananda Stealth, the Sundara or the HE6SE. It's a suspension strap design that has cap tilt, size adjustment, but not swivel. The lack of swivel was not an issue with all the headphones I previously mentioned. However, here it is significantly more clumpy, which I'm not a fan of. It's slightly loosened up since I got it, but it's still pretty strong. If you are sensitive to that, you have to keep that in mind. And in case you still decide to buy these, give them lots of stretching on a headphone stand, or you can even put a few books between the pads and leave it for some time to stretch. It features a dual 3.5mm jack, one angled forward on each ear cap. That allows for either single-ended or balanced connection. The cable it comes with is just fine. It doesn't get in the way most of the time. There is not much more to it. It's nothing fancy. Please subscribe to my channel if you've watched this video so far. Thanks. The previous version of this headphone was equipped with stealth magnets. This one also retains them, assuring acoustic transparency of the magnets. It also retains the Hyphen window shade grills, which are meant to reduce sonic reflections for a cleaner sound. And I can already tell you that it does the job. More on that later. But what we haven't seen on any other Ananda before is the nanometer thickness diaphragm, hence the name, Ananda Nano. Just a few years ago, only the most expensive, Sosvara, was equipped with these. But as we all see, things tend to trickle down indeed. And right now, it is the cheapest headphones to feature that technology, coming at $500. This means that you can expect even lower distortion, higher transient response, fantastic dynamics and detail. Its frequency response ranges from 5 Hz to 55 kHz. That's very good. The sensitivity is 94 dB, quite high for a planar magnetic headphone, with a resistance of just 14 ohms. This combination makes running it off a phone very easy volume-wise. While some amplification is recommended to get the most out of these headphones, they can still function without it and get loud enough. However, if you prefer a smoother, less fatiguing sound, then be prepared to invest in a higher quality amplifier to tame the treble response. Because of the sensitivity, it doesn't need to be super powerful, but it needs to provide quality power. Hyphman EF series amplifiers paired perfectly with them, because of their smooth sound and the generally slightly rolled off treble. On the other hand, something like topping a 90 would be one of the worst choices to go with the Ananda Nano, as it makes the problem even worse. Let me know in the comments down below what amplifier would you drive it with. Under some conditions, it's one of the best picks in its price range. But let's start with the tonality. The bass is well extended, you can hear pretty much 20 Hz most of the time, and it's incredibly punchy for a headphone at this price point, especially a planar magnetic one. The midrange is rather linear, not the worst timber-like, with a typical dip at around 3 kHz. However, when we come to the treble, there is a lot. It can be too much for some, and for me, it crosses the line slightly. I can't stand it, but I would strongly prefer if the treble was a bit smoother. Nevertheless, while it's a bit too sharp, it is also incredibly detailed. It's one of the things it's very good at. 
The treble is generally tactile and articulate. Despite the amount, it doesn't get dry like the Diva Pro, for example, which I consider to be some of the most dry sounding headphones from Hyphoman. Moreover, the hi hats may be a bit distracting in the mix, potentially drawing attention away from other elements. That goes along with the sharpness. Soundstage, though, is the best in its class in terms of the width. It's pretty wide for what it is, and it also is pretty tall, with some depth to it. The way sounds are placed within the soundstage is even more impressive. The imaging is very accurate, but not quite pinpoint. Yet it gives you a sense of realistic presentation all around you. If you take into consideration that it can separate sounds very well, it becomes something almost unusual for a headphone in this price range. I'm a big fan of string instruments. The Ananda Nano is also great for that, with its quick decay and general ability to reproduce string instruments very realistically. It has lots of clarity in everything it does, like voices, real and computer-generated instruments or any other sounds. In terms of that, it does way better than the previous iteration, the Ananda Stealth.